Hey guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to take you through decoding NOAA WeatherSat imagery with the USB SDR dongle. Hey guys, welcome back. Glad you could join me today. Today I am going to show you how I decode uh, NOAA WeatherSat imagery with my $10 USB dongles. Uh, on the screen here I have an image I captured from a previous pass of the NOAA 19. Uh, at the end of the video I'll show you a live decoding of a uh, WeatherSat. Uh, that particular recording didn't work out. I had a, with the screen capture software caused it to jump. so. Uh, this one was actually captured about an hour earlier, but you'll see uh, it works out pretty good, no complaints. Um, this is, I believe I have it set up for the precipitation, but uh, anyway, let's, uh, let's have a look at the setup. Uh, we'll take a look at SDR Sharp. I've stopped the live feed from it so uh, it doesn't overload the PC. These are my settings, so what I have found this setting here is uh, basically the key setting for me on this particular PC. Uh, I have to put the, the sample rate all the way down at the bottom, otherwise I was just getting jaggy useless images and it just didn't work out. Uh, use the offset tuning, uh, tune in to get your offset using uh, whatever FM radio station you know a, a frequency value for, tune in on on the waterfall and then adjust this value so that it matches the frequency that you know it is. Um, I haven't messed around with this sampling, I just leave it at the quadrature. Uh, I leave it on uh, wide FM and normally I have this value at an even 36,000. Uh, works pretty good. Uh, beyond that, what we do uh, on my PC, you adjust this gain value by testing in the WX, the WX2 image program. When you're live recording, um, you'll see the current volume down in the bottom and you just adjust it so that it's not overloading and not too low. I shoot for around 60-70% range, personally. It seems to work out pretty good. Um, Beyond that, what I do on mine, I output to Line 1 Virtual Audio Cable and then I use the uh, Virtual Audio Cable as the input in, in here, so uh, we should find it here. Recording Options, bring that over. Line 1 Virtual Audio Cable. These are the settings that I use, pretty much default, no problems. Uh, I think I put in antenna type. It is indeed a QFH antenna. I'll throw a picture in here. And that is the antenna I'm using. I'll put a link in the bottom of the description as well to that antenna. So we'll go back to SDR Sharp. Um, I use the Orbitron satellite tracking. You don't really have to for the NOAA sats. There's, there's not a lot of Doppler shift, but uh, I connect it to Orbitron. And you can see that in my previous videos, or right here is Orbitron. Uh, output to SDR Sharp, and you just hit go. The uh, important thing is make sure that you input the downlink frequency. It seems for some reason when you load the TLE from the factory from the program factory uh, it gets the frequency downlink wrong so input the frequency for the satellite that you're wanting to, to view you can see NOAA 15 here is creeping up right now it's not going to be a pass for us so we're not going to be able to decode it anyway uh, send that out to SDR Sharp and you are good to go it will uh, in the WX2 image program you just hit record, uh, wherever that is, there we are, record, and, and we just hit auto record and it will automatically create images in the movies and uh, depending on what version you have, I have the pro version here, uh, you can do lots of, lots of nifty stuff uh, set up to pre-make all kinds of images. 
through some of the images that I've done for the past that's coming up. And that is about the extent of it. That I'll cut away here and show you a live decoding and you can see the program live in action. Super easy, $10 USB dongle, and you can do a home view, homebrew QFH antenna. Uh, I chose to buy a commercial unit, and uh, you're good to go. You can pull the images right off the millisats. Thanks for watching.